Welcome to Man Build Thing, where we dive into the world of cybersecurity and ethical hacking. Today, we're embarking on an exciting journey into the realm of penetration testing. In this episode, we will demonstrate using the Flipper Zero device to capture PCAP files and then utilize Wireshark and Hashcat to analyze and decrypt the data in order to find the Wi-Fi password. It's super important to note that penetration testing should only be performed with proper authorization and in accordance with legal and ethical guidelines. With all of that out of the way, let's jump right into it. First up, the Flipper Zero. With its powerful capabilities, the Flipper Zero enables us to perform various tasks, including packet capture for network analysis, which is what we will use to capture the PCAPs. So I'm going to go ahead and plug my Flipper Zero in so that you guys can follow along and see what I'm doing. And from the home screen, I'll hit apps, scroll down to GPIO, then ESP32. I'll go up because it's at the very bottom and then select Wi-Fi Marauder. And first thing we'll do is scan our APs. We'll scan that for a second. And then once we collect a few, we'll stop it. So now that our Flipper Zero has captured a few APs, we'll stop it here, we'll scroll down to list, and it will show us a list of all the APs that we've captured. We will find the AP that we would like to target. In this video, we are targeting our own AP. Don't target anyone's AP or test anyone's AP that you do not have permission to test. So once we see our AP, we'll see the farther number to the left. Not the one that says channel, but the number 21 on this case. We'll scroll down to select and we'll simply type in 21 here. After that, we'll hit save. We'll hit back. As you can see here, we have 21 selected. One is selected. We'll hit back and then we'll scroll up. And I'm going to go to scripts. I like to use this script here the pk off and sniff does everything in one i'm going to hit run and let it do its thing as you can see we've already begun capturing eapol handshakes which is what we need for the pcat file so after capturing our handshakes we'll head over to qflippers file manager we'll select sd card and then app assets we'll go to wi-fi marauder and then simply select pcaps and you can see our PCAP file is there. The others are from previous videos, but this is the one. We'll right click, select download, and download it to any folder you would like it downloaded to. I usually put mine on a desktop in a PCAP folder. So that's downloading now. So the next step, if you haven't got it already, is to go to Google and download Wireshark by simply typing in Wireshark selecting download and then for me i'm going to use windows 64 installer i've already got it downloaded so i'm going to exit that we'll simply install it which is pretty straightforward i like to add a desktop icon and then just continue to click next don't change any other settings and it'll begin to install So once Wireshark has completely installed, we're going to go ahead and close this out and then open up Wireshark. I'm also going to locate the PCAP file that I saved earlier. Mine is here and I'm going to drag that file into Wireshark. Once you do that, you'll see all of the packets that were sniffed from the Flipper Zero here pop up here. I'm going to apply a filter here, E-A-P-O-L, because all we are looking for is the four-way handshake. So you can see one through four here. It doesn't matter how many, as long as you have one through four. I'm going to hit file and then save as. And here's where you will save your PCAP as something you will remember. I'm going to save mine as one dot PCAP. Make sure you put dot PCAP at the end. So mine will be saved here. And then we're done with Wireshark, so we can go ahead and close that out. 
Next, we'll download Hashcat by simply typing Hashcat into Google and then going down to the second selection, the GitHub selection. We're gonna go here, select the Hashcat here, and then we'll download this one. We won't mess with the source. Do not download the source. Only Hashcat, this one. We'll let that download. So now that Hashcat has completely downloaded, we'll locate it in our file explorer by clicking show in folder. We'll get a zip file. I'll use 7-zip, I'll right click, go to 7-zip, and I'll extract the files. Don't worry about the password or anything, just extract it. Once the extraction process is done, you'll be left with the Hashcat folder. We'll go into that folder. Then there will be a second folder. We'll enter that folder. And we'll just make sure we have the EXE and we'll use this folder momentarily. Now that we have Hashcap installed, we'll convert our PCAP from Wireshark into a hash by going to cap to hash in Google. The very first selection will be the one we will use. We will choose file and the file will be the one that we saved from Wireshark. Mine is one PCAP, one dot PCAP, not the first one. We'll go to convert. It will begin the conversion process. As you can see here, it was successful. The handshake has been converted. And then we will just simply select download. And then we'll get this file. It has been converted from a PCAP into a hash. We'll locate it. I'm going to change mine to a easier name to remember. I usually just use one. I did that off camera. So you just change it to something you can simply remember. So what we're gonna do now is move the hash file into the hash cat folder as well as the word file we'll move both of those into the hashcat folder because hashcat will need to access both of those in order to begin to decipher the, the password now we're going to open the command prompt and we'll cd into our hashcat folder by selecting this file location and right clicking and hitting copy next we'll enter cd and control v to paste it and enter now we are in our hashcat folder we'll enter the command hashcat dash m two two zero 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 the name of our hash file that we saved earlier followed by our word list and then we'll simply hit enter and hashcat will begin to decipher the hash in order for us to get our wi-fi password this can take quite a while, so just be patient and let Hashcat do its thing. I'm going to go ahead and speed this video up so you guys aren't just sitting here forever. And as you can see, Hashcat has found our password, which is Jaden231. So hopefully this gives an understanding of why it's so important to have very strong passwords as well as security measures nowadays. And there you have it. By combining the power of Flipper Zero, Wireshark, and Hashcat, we've successfully conducted a legal penetration test and hacked our Wi-Fi password, highlighting the importance of cybersecurity and ethical hacking practices. And now we've reached the end of this video. Thanks for joining us on this adventure. Remember to stay ethical, stay secure, and keep on building things the right way. If you found this video helpful in any way, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video to someone you think it may help. Until next time, happy hacking.